see what else. All right, so your generation, what do y'all, what do you and you think your peers feel about fear of God? Like, what are you ranking at? Probably. But now, my generation probably break fear of God last of the last. Whoa. Yeah. What? Yeah, I believe so. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cause we, we, uh, it depends. It depends who you're talking to. I thought that was cool with it. Yeah. It, it, it depends. It depends who you're talking to too. Because it's like you got different types of tears in our generation with like select styles. Okay. Some people might that I, I fear God is the top, 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 top. But right now, my generation is big on logos. So whatever you can see, that's what they're feeling. You know. So. Okay. Louis Vuitton, the Virgil, the Virgil, all that stuff. They probably be way before that, just because I don't. I mean, I got personal yeah. stuff, not personal. I don't know, but I can tell you why I don't like off white. But um, but you saying those brands, whatever you could see that they know about, and they know that that price tag is on. That's what they're. It's the price tag. It's the price tag. It's the price tag. Yeah, the price tag. So if you see that it I got made, the gallery, oh. if you see I got the gallery on. You already know I spent five hundred on this. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you see, I got the Louis Vuitton. You know I spent two thousand on this. They want the rich Billy. Yeah. They want. They, 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 they want. want they want to go for the gusto. That's what. Okay. And fair God not doing it. Fair God. They kind of like fair God. Regular. Yeah, they kind of regular and also too it's just with the. Uh, oh, there's money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> You know, I think it might be the loose spinning too, because you know all those other companies kind of keep up or set a different type of trend. You know, mm -hmm. the gallery department set that trend for flare jeans and flare pants. You know, and then now the paint on the sweater and all that stuff. So it's just about they do that. Yeah, they got the paint on the sweater. I'm into the paint. Yeah, the paint. Yeah, the you know the art shit. The paint splatter and all that. What? Like, yeah, that's part of the switch for that show one time. Yeah, I, I love the gallery. I love the gallery, but that, yeah, you said, yeah. I'm, I'm not really big on them. I didn't really, yeah. not, I ain't really familiar with them. Yeah, they got, they got a lot of stuff. They got a different type of art that can use mm. all types of stuff. The gallery, what? Yeah. Gallery department. That's tough. Oh, you know, that's next. That's what yeah. I mean. Got to see who I'm going to get them on the next segment. So, mm -hmm. I'm Let's talk about them. But as far as fear of God, I just think that more so our generations go to is actually the cheap essentials. And we're running around and running around in the essentials. Now it's like you're running around in the cheap fair God. You go up, but when you go out, you got the Louis Vuitton on. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. And you got the top, top, top yeah. tier stuff on. So that's how it is. All right, this is, all right, I hate fair of God size and stuff. Because it was shirt, I was trying to go out and um, had, a, had a hot thing. <laughs> Now we're in court. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shouldn't be talking about this. But anyway, um, it was a button up shirt I wanted. It was like some kind of like fancy material shows like five or something. It said size 13. I'm like, what the hell is that? Dude, like, I was scared. It was six hundred dollars shirt. I'm order it's gonna come in a week. I'm not gonna, I'm like, I don't got time to go back and forth, whatever. So I never got that one, right? I put some other jeans. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I learned my lesson. I'm scared to box yeah. them. I don't know what's, what's going to show up, right? That's one thing I hate about Fair God. Yeah. But one thing I love about Fair God is this. Because I'm really big. Like, I went through the other time where it was about the hottest thing, right? Yeah. Um, high school, junior high school. Junior high school kind of just into it. If you got parents like me. Love you had both parents, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that's a pure benefit. You know what I'm saying? Um, high school kind of get your own little money here and there kind of thing, maybe college, whatever. Um, but um, like a lot of the black designers, they're more boutique-ish. Mm -hmm. So they, they focus, like, even when I, I'm going to come out with my line, my shirt line. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, this, what did you, yeah, I think it was more. But like your dad seen like my first portfolio, like mm -hmm. and give me pointers, and I still got the shit in my room. It was crazy, like you know what I said. I was looking at like, damn, like see, always been in for me and shit. And um, but so I had like a, a t-shirt line I'm gonna come out with, um, the high end shirt one, right? So even that style, I'm taking that same approach. It's gonna be very boutique. -ish. So a lot of the black designers I like to support, 
they only focus on like certain pieces. Yeah. Fear of God are like they're like a Ralph Lauren. Mm-hmm. They got her yeah, underwear, belts, socks, the whole lot. Mm-hmm. Like Yeezy don't got ever, like sneakers and he had, you know, a couple of pieces, you know, different music, yeah, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like a lot of like women like they don't have maybe like maybe tops and bottoms because mm-hmm. Came around and got that got the whole everything pulled down. <laughs> like the whole part of is playing pause now. <laughs> like it's, just, it's crazy. It's but um, they like the only one on that tier that kind of do like the whole line. You know what I'm saying? I'm like if you need everything. So, so I used to be like I right, um I used to have like growing up. I, I got tired of buying clothes. And in two years, it won't be a style. Yeah. Like, it's fully, it probably wasn't around, fully. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, say, you can have that for four or five years. Then you have Sean John. Then you have, uh, whatever, Arsenal Dodgers. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever, uh, Von Dutch. Or yeah. Whatever, you know, And they go, and they go away. Oh. Yeah. And I got tired of, like, oh, hold on. If I'm invested, that's why I, I got my art shit. Mm-hmm. And, um, I started doing galleries and things like that, and really getting more into the visual art world. I was like, I started looking at life the same way. And people, like, you can have the richest person in the world. It's not just about getting afford something. It's like it's an investment for the most part, but not just a, a, a financial investment. It's like a personal investment of like you can have all the money in the world, but you have to sort them like find this perfect piece for your home, mm-hmm. and it's forever. So you pass that. So if that piece ain't the shit no more, mm-hmm. why even get it? Mm-hmm. So I started looking at that for clothes. Yeah. So I was like, I want I'm only investing in brands that I feel is gonna be here forever. Mm-hmm. And that's gonna be flop. Yeah. That's it like a Louis or like you could your mom probably got a bag from thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. Like it's still, it's still you get your money. Yeah, it's, it's still Louis Vuitton. It's still Louis Vuitton. Yeah. It ain't like what what is that? Like, you know, Chanel, still Chanel. Like, mm-hmm. So I was like, I want to get into that because Von Dutch ain't Von Dutch no more. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, not, you see what I'm saying? They, so, they keep the hats around. Yeah, they do. They do. It, they, they do. But, um, so I, I kind of, so I'm looking at Fair Guy, even though it's only 10 years old. I'm hoping they kind of come there. Yeezy, I'm on an easy bear ride. And even though people, you know, feel how they feel like Yeezy. Yeah. But, um, I love that they got, the whole line. So mm-hmm. I've been in the best and kind of get and make some socks and they got sneakers, they got everything. Yeah. It's like, like uh, before them, I would set up for Ralph Lauren, even though they, they, you know, great brand, but I was trying to be on my, you know, black and thing. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of hard sometimes. It's like, damn, it's like, it ain't that many, you know what I'm saying? It it's like, it ain't, it, it ain't that many, to be honest, right? But Ralph Lauren, I like because so the whole ecosystem. It's like I'm, yeah. you can like you you the phone, it. the wire, the laptop. Like it's, 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 the, it's, it's the whole. It's basic, but it's simple. And it's, it's so flawed. And it's still about yeah. Mm-hmm. And it got the lower level, like where you know polo. Mm-hmm. Even though it's polo, it's black sexy. label. Yeah. It got the um, double R or whatever. Like yeah. it got the it got different rugby. All rug, like, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, 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 I feel like they're taking that approach. Um, uh, Fear of God. Um, but I like it. They got the whole branch of everything. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me see what else. Um, that's pretty much for fair guy. Any other opinions you got for fair guy? Uh, nah, not too much. Uh, like I said, <laughs> like, yeah, um, like, but probably with their with their fashion shows on the oversized clothes, I feel like that's just a select type of style of people who like to overdo their outfits on a consistent basis because it's just like not too many people I know or I wouldn't go and pay so much, you know, my sleeves hanging over my fingertips <laughs> and all that stuff. It's looking like it came out of safe board, but yeah. Very simple stuff, uh the other, you know, um categories I definitely do like, you know, from the socks to the to the shoes. To the sweatpants and just like sweatsuits and all that simple stuff that still stands out. So yeah. Cool like that. All right. Um, before we leave, fair God. Fashion shows. Um, have you ever been to a fashion show? 
No, I got invited to fashion, um, fashion week this year, but I didn't, I didn't, okay. take, I didn't take the opportunity to go out. Damn, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta run over there one time. Um, no, they got it twice a year. They do February and they do what's that? Probably fall. Yeah, it's like it's like fall. Do they have spring and then the fall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's um, it's definitely a invite thing. Yeah, I was trying to go to uh. I got some people over there, La- Laquan Smith. You ever heard of him? No. I bought the situation date night. Right? Mm-hmm. I bought this fly ass custom app, customized dress. Mm-hmm. Like 1500. Then I had to get resized. For sure. You know what I'm saying? She was a little thicker than I feel like, right? Mm-hmm. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but it was dope. This is why I love it too. Mm-hmm. Um, I went. They're located in Queens. I went over, I went to the, this is why I love messing with black designers, mm-hmm. black people, period. If it was like Ralph Lauren or Louis, or even they're bigger. So it's probably has to do with the tour. But they deal with that, right? I emailed them like, hey, I bought so and so. The size is a little, whatever, off, whatever. Can I fix it? Cause that, I, I didn't want to return it. I was like, you could just t- tell, you know, let, let them tell it. But they were like, oh, bring it in. We can be about a bottle three shorty and give you the custody. Mm-hmm. They, they actually like, if you want to, I might, I might take them up on it. But let's say you have your shirts or your, your clothing line. They'll sit there and do a pattern for you. Yeah. You got to paint them. Mm-hmm. But they'll do like a, spe- like, you could actually get a, a customized, and he'll give you, you write that in the, the sizing or get size. Mm-hmm. And he'll do a special shirt. Straight cut and sew, not like a, you go buy this and put a thing on it. Now he'll, you know what I'm saying? I think it was like eight hundred dollars. Like you pay for their time, and you get a official designer like doing like you know, bringing up more. I wanted to tell like, yeah, that's tough. They they just so fly, like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, so they gave me the address. I'm like, oh, you right here, Queens. All right, so I pulled up, um, went over there, went to sweep the building. Do the head design. Yeah. Soon as I got a bug to the door, they opened the door. The nigga was in there cutting shit. Man, he was on I'm like, look what? He was like, he was like, what up? I was like, yeah, like, yeah. you really do this? You like, he ain't like, you know, I show up like Diddy ain't in there mm-hmm. doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't, he did, you're not gonna find Diddy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, this nigga was in it with this stuff, like, oh, and he was like, man, cool, gave me information and, mm-hmm. So I was trying to get, I was trying to get the invite, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hopefully we get this channel popping. We could, you know, people would respect what we're doing and invite us out. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely want to go there. We in New York City, um, fashion. Mm-hmm. Even if we can't make it to like an actual show front row, I think we should still just pull up. You know what I'm saying? If we was going on. See what's going on. There's going to be stuff yeah. going outside the, the function. Events. You know, all the go. Ex- yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, we got to mess with that. All right, let me add, next segment right here. Um, how you feel about Jacob Jeweler? Jacob Jeweler.